Hello my friends, guess what time it is? It is Taurus time. Taurus time? <laughs> Does that sound a little bit ridiculous? It's Taurus time. Uh, I hope you guys are all doing well. Welcome to the channel if you're new and if you're one of my awesome subscribers, thank you for being here. And if you're not, go ahead, hit the button. It's free, get your energy moving throughout the channel. Hope that you guys are all well. Please note general messages will resonate for everyone. So just take what does leave the rest. And if the stuff that doesn't resonate, it's okay. It just means it's for somebody else, right? Because not all Tauruses are going through the same situation at this point in time. Perspective. There's a better way. Pause for reflection and insight. Dare to be different. Huh. Some of you could be dealing with a Piscean, but very interesting. Looks as though... I wanted to come out, but we'll we'll see what else is, is wanting. Ooh, some of these cards are even wanting to jump. Ada Michael. Ooh, yeah, you do need a different perspective. Okay. Perhaps you're jumping from one frying pan into another one. And I say that because you've got the eight of Michael at the center of the reed. So this is akin to the eight of swords. So it speaks of being free, making a courageous choice to change a situation, and not seeing things clearly, which would make sense as to why perspective is the, the main key or the overall energy at this point in time. So perspective would generally refer to um, our loving hanged man. So it's something about sacrifice sacrifice letting things flow not fighting against um the current if you will it's it's basically challenging yourself to just be for a minute and to see if you can hear your higher self uh, again it speaks of feeling trapped or confined self-limited or uncertainty or maybe there's a lack of direction or maybe you need a release of some sort or maybe you need to let go of something here in general, you could be in a situation that you're just not happy with, right? Maybe you feel like you're stuck in a rut or trapped in a situation or a frame of mind that just doesn't make you happy, but you do have the power to release yourself, which is also backed up by this Eight of Swords. This may involve walking away from the situation or simply changing that perspective as we were talking about. It could also signify that you might be facing a dilemma and you're unsure which path to take. Um, you may feel that things are not turning out the way that you had planned with this major card. And if that be the case, it's about stepping outside oneself and looking at the situation from a different angle. It's important to give yourself some time to relax, stop trying to control things and just let them be, right? Because the correct course of action will become clear to you in time. Literally, some of you, I'm even seeing like just lie in your bed and stare at the ceiling. Things will come clear. If it's to do with a love relationship, it may be that you're unhappy with how it's going at the moment. It could signify that maybe you or your partner are feeling the need to take a step back from the connection to assess your options or where you want the relationship to lead. Uh, it asks basically to hold off on making any decisions and just give yourself time a little bit to think things through. You may also need to rethink perceptions of what a relationship should be like and focus on the positive aspects of the relationship as it is instead of worrying about what it isn't, right? So as it is instead of what it isn't. Alternatively, um, if you find that maybe you're really, really unhappy, it, it could mean that you're keeping yourself stuck for some reason. So you may want to look at why. Why are you staying there? And maybe that's it. Maybe you're afraid to jump from one frying pan because you're afraid you're going to land in another, right? But you can walk away if you want to. And same with this card here at the center of the read. If you're single, it could just indicate that you need to release yourself from situations or ideas or people that don't make you happy. And that may involve releasing old negative relationship patterns. And if you've been holding on to your feelings for, say, an ex, it's basically telling you it's time to release those feelings. Um, it may even signify that you need to release any rigid, 
preconceptions about what your ideal partner is to be in order to open yourself up to the options around you. Maybe if this is um, to do with career, it's very possible that you're feeling a little uncertain on the path that you're on. Maybe you feel that there's a bit of stagnancy. Um, you could be unclear about what steps you need to take to move your career forward. And if you're struggling to make a decision, please understand that you know you don't have to make a decision right now. Just relax and let things unfold. Things will become clearer in time. If there's financial issues, it just says that maybe you need a fresh perspective again, because maybe anxiety around your finances is making them seem worse than what they actually are. Or there may be positive things happening for you in other areas that you're just not appreciating because you're focusing too much on money. If it's a health situation and you have been experiencing any, um, this basically asks you to consider all of your treatment options. It does not mean that you should reject the treatment that you've been offered, but definitely rethink you know, your health issues and consider tackling them from multiple angles, right? So you could do something like holistically, uh, physiotherapy wise, like um, acupuncture. There's a whole number of different ways to treat yourself. So explore those different ways, right? It can also indicate that whatever the issue is that you're experiencing, you may just need to allow yourself a little bit of time to heal rather than becoming frustrated that your health isn't improving, right? As quickly as you want it to. You just got to give yourself a little bit of a break and be nice to your body. Maybe that's what your body needs is you to tell it that you love it. <laughs> um, in a spiritual context, it asks that you be mindful of your attitude towards yourself. <laughs> If you've been engaging in, say, negative thinking, this card is asking that you stop um, because it may affect your outcome as well as how you feel about your life. Don't allow yourself to get bogged down spiritually. If you release those old beliefs and negative thoughts that don't work for you anymore, you'll definitely find a whole new, or sorry, you'll find that whole new spiritual world. Like, Numbers of them will open up to you and free you up to connect with that higher consciousness. So again, there's that Eight of Swords. And sometimes here, the, the Eight of Michael is just, we don't want to make the change because something, we're getting something from staying in a, in a situation too. But I think that it's at the point now where you might be feeling that it's just too much. Let's keep going. What's crossing this eight of swords, please, for Taurus? Seven of Gabriel, standing up for yourself, standing up for what you believe in, and having confidence and claiming your personal power. So this is it. This could be the challenge right now, Taurus. You could be trying to stand up for yourself and you're getting consistent pushback. I'm getting a sense maybe it's time to just sit back and see and watch and wait because change takes time. Maybe that's it. Maybe you're... You're hoping that the changes that you're making, like for example, if you implement a boundary, maybe you're hoping that all of a sudden, yep, yeah, I've implemented it, so everything's gonna be good now. No, it just, it might take some time here um, to change. And it's gonna take some time for others to understand that you no longer are approaching things the way that you used to. And why? Because you're standing up for yourself, okay? And someone may make you feel, especially if, say, they're in a position of power, they may make you feel like you're trapped, but you're not. There it is. There's that chariot, just like I was saying. So there's another seven. Two sevens here, my friends. So it's about determination and self-control, right? And continuing forward. You are managing any obstacles that come towards you, and you have been doing so incredibly well. And part of you may pull off to one side and say, you know, I really, um, it's, it's just more comfortable to do things the way I used to do it versus uh, the determination and control that it takes to continue on to make this change. But you got to stand firm. That's what this is asking. Use your willpower. Use your willpower no matter how many opposing forces are coming at you. Just keep going steady. Also, <coughs> the, 
you could be, I'm kind of getting the feeling too. I just, I, I just get this feeling like you're, you're trying to stand up against people that are trying to derail you, but you're doing a great job and you just got to keep going forward. Keep, keep going that, that self-determination, let nothing stop you. And also you've got incredible self-control right now too. Could be some career advancement or acknowledgement of success by others. Maybe people are going to notice this change, like I said, and so that's why that's why they're not exactly excited because <laughs> they probably want you to be the same way that they've always known you. But this is growth, right? This is growth. Um, in the recent past, we have the Knight of Ariel. There was a lot going on. Things were very busy. Maybe you needed to make a plan. Uh, maybe you were being watched over by someone kind as well. But the thing too is, is that this was in reverse. So I feel like you may have had some craziness around you in where things weren't exactly laid out as such and you were just jumping as opposed to being able to do things at your pace and your pace Taurus is slow and steady slow and steady till you win the race but I feel like with that seven of Gabriel there people were they were trying to get their way you know what I mean and then I think that that triggered you're wanting to have your way and then it, it was kind of like a bump and then both kind of felt trapped so it's kind of like here we are at a stalemate but i feel that in this situation you need to keep going and standing your ground on it whatever it is there it is page of ariel so the strength in your strength position here you've got that an excellent opportunity is going to be offered to you okay some of you may get scholarships or um an opportunity to pursue education or not only that but you may have some new ideas because this is this is also an earth sign right so i'm thinking that this is you and also that knight of ariel so taurus virgo capricorn energy but your strength is is that you're reliable clever educated and balanced so no matter what is coming at you draw on these draw on these um talents and strengths of yours to move forward you might even get a new idea too that you might pursue something in the physical realm something to do with health or job or whatever and there it is divine guidance some of you are in a bit of a spiritual awakening too at this point of time and maybe that's what it is too is as you're growing there's that conflict it's the quote-unquote growing pains because it speaks of the search for meaning in life Consider an alternative approach. Surround yourself with wise teachers or friends. So this makes sense. I think you just need to hold your ground right now with whatever it is that you're going through. And a wise teacher is going to be showing up. This is the Hierophant, okay? A wise teacher will show up for you. Somebody in the near future, or even if it's not your higher self, as you're learning more uh, about spirituality, say, because seven is also about spirituality. And you know, awakening, the beginning of awakening. Um, so I, I feel like somebody's going to be there to offer you some help. Let's get a little bit more clarity here, please. What is this divine guidance, please? I think you're just going to be settling more in, but always remember growing pains. Yeah, there you go. So this six of pentacles, whatever this new perspective is that you need, stay in control. And you're going to be changing something, something that you're going to not be giving to anymore because it's just, it's not suited for you. It's just not working for you. But also I feel too that somebody's going to come along and help because you can see that there's this person who's giving to another. Okay. So someone who's in a position to help is going to do so. There's that hanged man. And then you'll be out of that stuck energy. Okay, so this isn't forever. It's just take a little bit of a break. Continue on the path that you're going. You go at your pace, that slow and steady of whatever it is that you're trying to manifest or create at this point in time. And it's all going to come through for you, okay? Woo, craziness. All right, Taurus, sending you so much love. See you again soon. Bye, guys.